private companies now, uh, established private firms now, need to be advocating for this vision, for this goal of making clean energy cheap and of the strategy of government contracts and investments to get there. There's been um, a lot of historical revisionism about Silicon Valley uh, mm -hmm. over the last couple mm -hmm. of decades where you kind of hear, well, it all started because Hewlett and Packard uh, were in their garage uh, and they were just these kind of geniuses. Uh, we need to understand that really Hewlett and Packard would not have had a company had the Pentagon not bought their radios um, uh, back during World War I. Um, mm -hmm. And that, uh, you know, that really all of Silicon Valley it was a creation of Defense Department contracts. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. same thing with microchips, same thing with the internet. And I think the private sector would do well right now uh, for its CEOs and its executives to stand up and say, look, you know, we are grateful for past uh, taxpayer investments in our industry. And we want to acknowledge and recognize those investments. And we want to ask that you make new investments, uh, this time in the new cutting edge energy technologies. And I think the private sector is, is now ready to, to say that. I think that they had been a bit uh, more reluctant to play uh, that role. And I think a lot of them kind of got swept up in this fantasy that we would just have some pollution regulations and we would take care of global warming with a price on pollution. I think that uh, the private sector is now uh, really starting to recognize how important federal contracting was uh, for its existence. And I think that there's a lot of uh, CEOs and executives, especially from the high-tech companies, uh, that are going to be ready to speak out.